we knew that Wagner's will would be incredible. And so ours had to be spectacular. And I thought, especially in the second half of that game, uh, we made plays executing offensively. We got key stops. It wasn't the prettiest game anyone's ever seen. Uh, but I think we knew what we were getting into when we saw that Wagner would be our next opponent. And they've had an incredible season. And they're, they're so well coached and have played um, you know, terrific. And uh, I'm just very happy for our guys and glad that they get to continue their season and have another chance to go to the NCAA tournament. Matt? Andy, uh, the, the difference between the first half and the second half was obviously in the way the game was played, there was, there was a lot of difference. Could you talk about what changed in, in, in the early minutes? I mean, there, there was no rhythm in the first half. Fouls had a lot to do with that. In the second half, the, the game seemed to breathe a little better. Yeah. I thought that the, uh, the first four minutes of the game were a little bit chaotic. You know, no one, everyone, I guess, was trying to get their footing a little bit and kind of figure out how this thing was going to go. And then all of a sudden, you know, it became a free throw contest, um, which were all, I mean, both teams foul a lot. It's not like it's, uh, it's not like you could reverse any of those calls. Um, but that's the way that both teams play. And then in the second half, I thought, you know, both teams did a better job of adjusting a little bit to the officials, using their feet a little bit more than their hands and their bodies. Um, but I thought we were kind of able to get in an offensive flow. We were able to execute and get really good shots. Um, and, and I think that was the difference. Down the stretch, we were able to execute and make some, get some layups, get to the free throw line, do certain things, and kind of take control of the game a little bit. And then we were, we were able to keep them at bay you know, when they made their run late. Finish these free throws, and they, we have a chance to, to finish out the game. And that's all I was thinking: just don't mess up for my team like I did against Sacred Heart and miss uh, free throws, and uh, give the other team a chance. Just try to be composed, not worry about the crowd, and just knock uh, knock them down. Felton, this game obviously was a big game, way different. Uh, not, none at all. I didn't even think about it. I knew first game I didn't play to my uh, best abilities and and uh, took some questionable shots. I just wanted to come in to this game and just not take bad shots and, and make the right plays for my me and my teammates. Uh, I think it helped us a lot. Uh, me, Russell, uh, Lodger, we we played in some games like this, some big games like this, uh, throughout our years here, and uh, I think that's what I think they helped us a lot to be able to finish out the game and be able to be composed, even though they uh, made a little run at the end. But uh, in the huddles, me Russell was just talking to talking to everybody, just be be composed, and we've been here before, and let's just finish out the game. Yeah. Did Leonard do any of surprises? To you? Uh, no, we knew they had uh, four court presses the whole game. They, they are a very physical team. We knew that they would be physical, press, and, and play with a lot of energy, and that's what they did. Uh, hope. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I, we just try to keep them fresh. You know, a lot of times when you foul, it's because you're tired, because you're out of position, because your mind gets slow. And so we were trying to just go quick segments with them, maybe a minute and a half, two minutes, where they could stay fresh, stay alert, stay out of foul trouble, and then the next guy could come in and continue the flow. Um, and I thought they did a good job of it. I thought they were able to, you know, help where they needed to help. I thought they were able to be in the right spots defensively for us down the stretch. Um, you know, it helped that, you know, Wagner didn't necessarily throw the ball inside as much uh, down the stretch of the game. They were looking to get some threes, so I think that helped them as well. But, um, you know, just trying to keep them fresh and kind of keep guys, you know, alert. Uh, man, it, it, it'll mean a lot. You know, they beat us last year at their place. And, uh, 
it, it would be a fun experience to uh, be able to go back there if they do, if they wind up winning the game. I'm sure either way you guys will come up with creative storylines. All right, you guys are dismissed. Thank you. So must say, Travis. See you on Wednesday night at ESPN 2, 7 o'clock with John.